Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. I've got Jason here with me and we are headed to Costco again. We are not getting our regular stuff though. We are going to stock up on the P&G sale they have going on right now. In case you are new to what that is or curious how it works, you spend $100 on a, sorry. <laughs> Car is very bumpy is very right here. Um, anyway, <laughs> I can't even keep it straight. So, P&G products, if you spend $100 on them at Costco, you get a $25 rebate check in the mail. You have to submit your receipt online and then they send you the rebate check in the mail. So it's it's kind of worth it for us because it's toilet paper, paper towels, laundry detergent, dish detergent, feminine products, deodorants, toothpaste. There's a lot of stuff that we can get and a lot of that stuff is on rebate right now at Costco as well. So. We're gonna go and stock up on all that kind of stuff and we'll show you how it works. And I will update you in the comments or in um, the description of this video in the future with how long it takes to get the rebate check. It does take a few weeks. I've done it in the past. So just know that it's not instant. You don't get instant savings or a gift card right there at the register. You do kind of have to wait. You but learn patience. You learn long patience. Suffering. Yep. So. Let's go to Costco and I'll show you what we're gonna get and through the, go through the process with you. So here's the deal. <laughs> they were out of a lot of stuff that we wanted. Toilet paper is gone, paper towels are gone. There was something else. I left my list at home, so that wasn't great. But... It's, it's, the deal's been going a while, so they probably sold out of some Well, and toilet paper is gone within the first hour of Costco again. So we don't need toilet paper. I was just getting it because you can only get one at a time and because it was part of this deal. So it's not the end of the world that I didn't get it. But I'm gonna to talk to you about one other thing before we show you what we got, because we did get to $110. I was so mad because we were like 75 cents away from the $100 mark and I had to spend another $10 in order to make it work, but it is what it is. So here's the thing, we only got things that we actually needed. There was one tie that was part of the P&G deal. I don't remember the exact dollar amounts. It was more expensive by easily $20. I think that, any bucket of Tide, whether it was the pods or the liquid or whatever, it was $29.99 for the, for the Tide detergent. And it only did 168 loads. The all detergent that was not on the P&G sale, it was on rebate for $10, and it does 183 loads. So you have to like do the math. It was a great deal to like add the Tide to the P&G thing because it got me $30 towards my $100 but it actually isn't a good deal because the other one was actually cheaper. So don't just get stuff on sales like this just because it is part of a deal because it actually might not be a deal. We're, we're kind of burnt out. <laughs> we're not burnt out, it's just you're doing it. I'm I know, here, no, so. we've had a long day. We haven't been home since 9 a.m. this morning and it's now 3.30. We're gonna go home and I'll show you. So because there is no toilet paper and paper towels, <laughs> that makes the, the hall look a lot bigger. <laughs> smaller you mean no it look, makes it look bigger if we were to get that oh you're the right. one we actually got because we couldn't get it it looks small it looks very small Had we got it it would look, look bigger right yeah. so we'll go home and we'll show you what we ended up getting all right once again i'm not going to do a fancy display on the counter because i'm exhausted <laughs> so here's what we got we also got some regular costco stuff so you can get a double two for one this side right here is what we got as part of the png deal and then this side over here is what we got for just regular groceries Okay, so we're gonna start over here really quick. We got two boxes of the Tampax Pearl tampons, and he's very anxious to be done, so he's gonna go put them away as I tell you about them. We're very done with each other, so go ahead, go put those away. Okay, then he got some deodorant. He's not a huge fan of the gel ones, but this one is what put us over the top. So he's taking one for the team and using this deodorant. 
Then we got toothpaste. We are literally down to one tube and it's almost gone. So this one was perfect timing. Actually, same with the tampons and the pads for my girls. There's maybe five tampons left in the whole house. And usually we have a box of these in every single bathroom. So we are down to almost out. Speaking of pads, we went ahead and stocked up on these. I only got one box of these. They don't get used as much. So they last a little bit longer. So we just got one. Then we got the Cascade pods. These work really good in the dishwasher. I do love them. I like them a lot. I don't mind getting the Kirkland ones, but obviously this time around the Cascade was part of the deal and it was roughly a good deal across the board, brand for brand. And then we got Swiffer wipes. I'm actually contemplating going to an actual mop and getting a mop bucket and that kind of thing. So this might be the last time we do Swiffer. I don't know. It just depends because our daughter mops the floor and so it, it's just easier for her so if I can make it easier for her then it actually gets done so got some of those then the last thing is Dawn dish soap I saw if you saw the clean out of underneath my kitchen sink you'll have maybe noticed that I was down to just about that much left in my other soap so it's perfect time to stock up on this one okay regular groceries I actually didn't do too many except for these ones were all on rebate so uh, this is my daughter's favorite kind of chips so I went ahead and got these for her and Pirate Booty are only $3 a bag. Literally at the grocery store, you get like a sample pack for $3. So it's a really good deal to get the Pirate Booty. Then this is what I was talking about. It was a better deal for me to get the all detergent than it was to get the Tide. So went ahead and went with the Tide and it was on rebate. Otherwise I already have one in my backup supply, but again, I stock up when it's on rebate. And guess what came back to Costco? These are so good. I'm going to withhold and let Jason and the girls have these ones now. I'm going to have the chicken tenders that I got last week at Costco, but they're so, so, so good. Maybe I'll splurge every once in a while, but we went ahead and stocked up on these and it looks like Jason took the detergent already and we're down to the milk and bread. Boring, but that's just life with kids. That's it, you guys. I'm sorry. Some of these are not glamorous because that's my real life. I don't live a glamorous life and I don't have the ability to spend the time to take it all inside and display it all on my counter and, you know, spend three hours doing it. I need to get it done. I need to go inside and be with my kids. They're about to get off the bus. So I hope you enjoyed this little, oh, let me just really quick. So you take your receipt and you go to, um, I'll put it in the description, but you go to a website. It's probably a PNG type of website. I think you can even do it from your phone if I remember from doing it last time and you submit your receipt and it'll check your total and then you give your address and your name or whatever and then it will go ahead and mail you that rebate as soon as it clears their system. So I will leave a link to where you submit it to and I will also update the description with how long it takes in order to get the rebate because I think that's what deters people from doing it is that it takes a little bit extra effort to, in order to get the rebate and then it takes some time and you kind of forget about it. But then it's a nice surprise. Get a $25 card to go back to Costco because we all know that $25 gives us like two items at Costco. So anyway, take care and I hope you enjoyed this little Costco haul and we'll see you guys next time. to getpgoffer.com. Then scroll down to log in. While you can continue as a guest, it's suggested you create an account. It's simple and free. Once you log in, your dashboard will show your upload history. If this is your first time, it will be empty. There are three ways to submit receipts. In warehouse receipt, costco.com receipt, or same day costco.com or Instacart receipt. If uploading an in-warehouse receipt, just snap a photo with your phone or camera. Once you've taken the pictures, connect the device to your computer and copy over your photos. Click the gray square surrounded by dotted lines to upload your photo. Then navigate to the images you just pulled over from your phone or camera. When you're finished attaching your photos, click the submit button. If you've done your shopping online through Costco.com, Simply enter the order number from your Costco.com shopping receipt and click Submit. Lastly, if you've done your shopping to Costco.com same day or Instacart, select the number of P&G products on the receipt, click Confirm, 
then forward your receipt to the address displayed on the screen. And that's it. Your receipts will be reviewed and quickly added to your account. Once you reach $100, after coupons and before tax, you'll send a $25 Costco Shop card to the address you provided. Limit two $25 Costco cards per membership number.